Everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap. Today's Thursday, February 18th. Managed to squeak out a small profit on the day of exactly $50. Uh, Mighty 90s were good, had uh, four trades, three of which were winners, Apple plus 393, AMD minus 450, Roku basically with a scratch, 40 bucks, and Tesla plus 330. No pairs trades today. And then on the runner side, uh, had a nice downside runner in the NASDAQ. We don't trade futures a lot, but uh, took, a, took a short in the NASDAQ for 323. Really nice, biggest winner today, MU836. Neo got us for 462, and then Roku was the one that slapped us around a little bit for 960. So let me show you what we did here. Starting with the mighty 90s, uh, going to Apple. So in Apple, we had this uh, big flush down, and we were waiting for it to get down close to this pivot. Didn't quite get there, but we got filled right there and then caught a nice bounce. I left one little piece on uh, and ended up getting out of my last piece right there. So nice, nice profit in Apple for 393. AMD was a mighty 90 that did not work. Uh, kind of a similar situation. Had this flush down, uh, got long right in this area. Started to bounce and then just rolled over, chopped around a little bit. Uh, technically, we got two little green bars right there. I could have got out, which would have been a smaller loss than I ended up taking but gave it a chance and it flushed down. So when it bounced back up, I just got out right there. Uh, I took a loss on that one to 450. In Roku, uh, so I'll go over the Mighty 90 and the, um, and the Runner. So in, in Roku, uh, it was looking really strong on the day, big massive volume spike when it pulled back. Actually, well, so first of all, before this ball bar closed, I was anticipating a mighty 90 with this with this volume spike. So we actually got short right here. Then when that volume spike really got massive, you know, higher than the first bar, uh, I wanted to get out of it because uh, a lot of times that signifies continuation. Now, had I held in hindsight, that would have been a beautiful mighty 90. But uh, you got to you got to play the criteria that you trade. Uh, every time. And so we actually got out of that Mighty 90, just a little scratch of 40 bucks as it came down right here. And then we turned around and got long right here uh, for a potential upside continuation runner, upside volume runner. Uh, started to bounce, almost got out of half at, at this point, but didn't quite get there. And then the market, the overall market just flushed and Roku certainly went with it. So we held uh, got another, got a volume spike right here. And so we ended up adding right here, took some serious heat on this one. It continued to flush, but you know, I don't, again, on these trades, the, the whole risk management is based on position sizing and making sure that your position size correctly. Uh, in this case, you know, I, I held, I mean, took a significant amount of heat. I don't, I don't close it out if I'm down a certain amount or anything like that. I don't have a stop loss because I have not found that to be beneficial over time. And certainly in this case, it, 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 it worked out and it typically does. Now you're going to have some, you know, by, by trading that way, you're going to have some times when you hit a, a pretty decent loss, but, uh, position size correctly, held on, held on. Uh, the market started to bounce, things turned around, and this thing started to bounce. And so I, I scaled out as this thing continued to move higher. Got out of my last piece right here. Frankly, I, you know, I thought it might continue to go higher, but I was just done for the day. So I ended up just closing it out. Uh, overall, took a loss on the Roku runner of minus 960. Uh, so decent sized loss there, but paired it back pretty decent on that bounce. Uh, and then going on to the other runners. Oh, wait, do I have another Mighty 90? Uh, oh, yeah, Tesla. Tesla was our last Mighty 90. And on this big push up, had a little volume pop, got short right here, and just caught a little piece of that down move in Tesla for plus 330. And then on to the other runners. So let's go to the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ had this, when the market was flushing, had this big massive volume spike. NASDAQ, S&P, Dow, all had it. The, uh, the NASDAQ was the weakest at that point. So I took it in the Dow. So on this, uh, I took it in the NASDAQ. So on this little bounce here, it got short and scaled out of uh, most of it right down here. I held one contract in case this thing continued to really fall apart. Uh, it bounced, and when it kind of was holding here, I ended up cutting the last one loose, but still booked a nice profit of 323. MU, another nice runner. 
In MU, we booked uh, 836. This is my biggest winner. So had this initial push up, massive volume spikes. Didn't quite get as high as the first, but kind of splitting hairs. So on this pullback, got long right here and got out of three quarters of the position right here. It was up over $1,000 at that point. Held on to a quarter of it, came back down, reloaded. Uh, it bounced up. I think I closed out uh, that ad right there, booked another nice profit, and then, you know, it got caught in the flush with the rest of the market, so I did see some downside. Held up pretty decent compared to the rest of the market, though, and so I held on to that last quarter, and then when this thing pushed back up, closed it out, held, held on to one contract just to see if we get some more strength. Uh, when it started kind of chopping around, ended up getting out, I think, right, I don't know, right in this area here maybe, but still booked a nice profit of 836. And then, let's see, our next runner was Neo. Uh, I'm blaming Romuald in our community for this one. Uh, but, I mean, good signal. Just, you know, big, massive volume spike here. Got short on the bounce. I was really small in here, but even, even staying small, ended up taking a loss of 462. This thing just really pushed against us. Started to roll over, thought we had a chance, and then it just popped up when the market started to bounce. So just ended up closing it out right here and, and taking a loss on that one. Uh, and that's it. So those are all the trades plus $50 for the day. So not much, but green nonetheless. So I'll take it. Uh, everybody have a good day. We'll be streaming live tomorrow on Friday and all next week. See you then.